Hi everyone, today we'll see how a transistor is going to act as a switch. So for this, we require few components that is one NPN VJT transistor that we are taking it as BC107 and resistors 1 kilo ohm we require 2 and uh, third one what we require is one LED first of all we'll see how the circuit look like and then afterwards we'll practically implement using the breadboard so now we'll see the connections take the BJT transistor and connect the emitter to the ground and connect one resistor to the base of the transistor and connect the second resistor to the collector now the other end of the resistor connected to your VCC where we are applying 5 volts and at the input side apply a square wave with 5 volts peak to peak and 1 hertz frequency now connect the LED across your uh, transistor so this is how we are going to connect uh, the circuit on the breadboard now take the breadboard and connect the BJT transistor inside the BJT transistor onto your breadboard here you can see this is the emitter base and collector so the notch which is pointing that will show the emitter now according to the circuit according to the circuit now connect the base with a resistor okay. connect the resistor to the base and uh, one more resistor to the collector So now I have connected one resistor to the input, the second resistor to the collector. Now connect the emitter to the ground and take the power supply and connect the ground of the power supply to the ground and the positive supply is given to the collector now connect the LED to the collector and the other end is to be grounded So now uh, set the input uh, frequency as 1 kilohertz with uh, 5 volts peak to peak. Now after setting the input uh, frequency and voltage, now connect the uh, input to the transistor, uh, sorry, the input of the circuit. Now to observe the output connect the second probe to channel 2 and now connect it across the collector. Now uh, the input uh, to the VCC we are going to give 5 volts which is acting uh, which we are giving as a biasing voltage. Now observe the two waveforms one is the input and output waveforms. The output waveform always varies between the VCC SAT and plus VCC 
now one point can be observed from these two waveforms that is when the input is low the output is high that means the transistor uh, is showing a 180 degrees phase shift uh, from my input to the output now you can see that the led is in the on condition now to see the switching action of the transistor reduce the frequency at the input side to 1 hertz now observe the led the led is of the led is on and off based on the time period if Alright. So, if a positive pulse is applied across the base terminal, the transistor enters the saturation region. That is, it is in the on condition. The output state is low. The LED will be off. And if we are applying a negative pulse across the base terminal, the transistor enters the cutoff region, and it is in the off condition. The output state is high, and the LED will be on. So, like this, the transistor is going to act as a switch.